Well, hello, welcome to your second video in this Notion Life OS onboarding sequence. And in this part of your process, we're going to look at the trackers, habit trackers, workout trackers, meal planners. Really excited about that, how that thing has come out. I'll show you a bit about that. And I'll show you the basics of how the habit tracker is now super easy to use and super accessible as a system. So we're gonna dive into that all right now. Let's do it. So let's jump back into goal setting and yearly planning and look at goals in a little more detail. Now, we had created some, if you remember, at the very beginning in our areas. And if we jump into those, currently they're just goals. Now, one thing I've updated this year for the template is to add the ability to use tasks or projects as milestones on your progress towards the goal. It used to be that there was a milestones sub item within the goals database, but I just don't think that was working at all. So on one basic level, if you want to go a little bit more detailed in your goal setting, the next option would be to add milestones as either projects or tasks. Now, projects would be great because you can set timelines for those and deadlines and then add the little tasks that sit within them. Or if you just want to keep it simple and use tasks, you can do that. So why don't we just set tasks as milestones in this example? Let's add a new task, drop it in and just label it. So we're going to call this, um, what should we say? What, what is this thing? Uh, I've created a product. So research products that make me happy and inspire me. Uh, you know, I'm just making this up. It's deep work and I'm going to do that next week three days whoops give it an end date i want to work on it for that period and let's make the deadline for this milestone to be the 16th this little daily priority thing i forgot to tell you about in the next section this is just to order things in that today and tomorrow view so you can just kind of set them in the order that you want to see them and it will just list them on the today view it's quite nice great and i'm happy with that Add to system. Don't you need to do that here. Let's add another one, important. And then I'm going to make the due date follow the last one. So that's going to go from the 17th to the 25th. And we'll make the deadline the 25th. Fantastic. And it's linked to the goal. Now, if you don't like these views of deadlines and things, you might like them, but if you don't like them, you can always change the properties by going into the menu, clicking properties and hiding the ones you don't want. I quite like seeing it in this view. And if you find that your goal view is too thin, go up here and go to full width. And you might find that your goals are easier to look at. There you go. And you would drop those in as you go. And you'll see that Let's say that we start one. It will drop down to in progress. It will obviously be timing it, but we don't have to see that. And let's say that it was completed. You'll then see the progress report. You've got one of two done at 50% complete and you're able to track your progress on your goals. Then if we go back to the goals database. We can see that report there. Oh, I'm just going to jump in and see what else I've done. Oh, I actually did that. Let's say that was everything you needed done. It's 100% complete. And it means you can click achieved. And it will tell you when it was achieved. 8th of October. How about that? Really, really cool. And that is how we track goals. And you can see your achieved goals listed within the section. Always remember with all these things to link them to the current year and with any templates like projects, tasks, if you want that to be automated, click in here, edit the template and make sure the year is updated as you need it. And while we're in there, I'm going to make this full width because I think it's better. Great. That's the template edited. So every time you add a new goal, it will end up full width. So that's the basics of tracking your goals. You should also know that there is a year's database and that's what that year was linking to. And it's a full report of everything that you might want to see. It's a report of your goals, you've journals, habits you've got linked, workout sessions you've done, um, all the rest of it. Yeah, this significant events, 
goals that you've set, how many you've completed out of the ones you've set, it all is reported in there, which is rather nice. And that brings me to the deeper guided approach that I've created for you in this system. If you want to really go deep in a, maybe a yearly review, orientating yourself, finding your North Star. There is a full video on this process that I've linked in the guide if you want to see it. Um, so I won't go into detail now, but I'll just show you the basics of what's there. And if you want to see what I mean here, click in here, onboarding guides, go to goal setting and the yearly reflection, and you'll see it's linked there, or you can find it in the main support guides within that guide via the buttons. Okay, so it's pretty easy to find what you need. You built your wheel of life at the beginning of this process, I would have thought, well, and we're gonna go in here, and if you wanna start with this, you're gonna click, it'll tell you, it'll guide through, start yearly reflection. And all it will do is just create a page that you can work in, that's all it really is. So I can edit this, 2024, and it will take you through a full process. You can add significant events, you can identify your wins and losses for the year, you can do a recap of what went well and what didn't, you can then do some journaling within this and reflect and think, questions about the past year, say goodbye to last year, and then you can think about this year. What do you want your year to be about? There's a view that you can update as you need to, yeah? Um, that was back in the other one. You can uh, find your purpose with these prompts. And finally, you can then do a bit of dream setting, and think up what you want your life to be about. Now, once you've done all of that, you could then go back out into the year planning area, and from that point, set your goals and add them in to the system or up here, wherever you want to do it. So that is the kind of guided goal setting system in a nutshell. And I've added this little bonus fear setting thing if you want to do a bit of Tim Ferriss's thing and address things that are scaring you, but you get the idea. So that is goal setting, super quick, watch the video. Honestly, it's so well guided, I think now, that you could just use that. I don't know. If you're getting this at the beginning or the end of the year or just want to spend some time, give yourself a few hours, have a go at it, see what you make of it. Okay, let's jump home. And the next stage of this process is going to be to look at tracking. So let's talk habit tracking. Take a break or not, we're going to carry on. So if we go down into the tracker area, we could do, see it all down here. I'll just give you a quick tour of that and we'll just use the main menu to look at it. The habit tracker is designed to allow you to track habits, which we can see down here. And I think a habit is different to a workout session because we're going to log that differently. And it's different to tasks, goals, the rest of it. I think a habit is a thing you want to do regularly. So I would keep these minimal and things that you can build and track and through tracking, know you've achieved them uh, and built them into something you just do naturally. So mine are reading, gratitude, calling a friend every day and creating a video a week. I'm putting it in there because I want to track the progress, right? and the buttons link to them. So with this, you can just edit these buttons and habit views that exist or create new ones. Um, but the first thing you absolutely need to do is use the set up the day's database. You can start a new day by clicking a button. But without that, you won't be able to link habits and record them, right? So there is a new day. If I now log reading, it will link to the at today entry. And we will see the report now come up. You've done one of 12 of reading for the period you've set it. And it shows you the progress down here. You can also, of course, relate goals to it if you want to. But I would absolutely say you need to do this. Click in to the day's database on the today default template. Go in and edit it. First of all, if you don't speak, if you don't speak English or your workspace isn't set up in English, you want to change this to the word that you will use <laughs> uh, or, or that the, it is adapted to. Otherwise, the filter won't work, just so you know that, right? Otherwise, that's all working. It's linked to the year. So in the new year, you might want to go and edit the template so it links to the right one. And this is the important bit. Open up the filter, click the little dots and go to repeat. And you want it to repeat daily 
on your time zone. Make sure you've selected your time zone and save it. That is now a repeat item that will auto populate every day and you'll always be able to capture your habits. The bonus of it being automatic means that on the days you don't capture the habits, you'll have a record of that too. Very useful. That's it. It will also log the time past. Let's say you want to set up a habit. Let's go into reading and just adjust it. You start the date. Okay, I want to start my reading when I got the template. So let's just find that. Let's say that I want to start on the first of the month and I want to end at the end of the year. Like that. And I want to do frequency. I want to read three times per day, month, week, whatever you want. You just set that and it will then calculate how many you need to do, how many days are remaining of the period, the start date and end date. I think it's all rather cool. And you can see now the percentage is adjusted of one out of 39. Simple as that. So the next thing is if you want to adjust one, maybe you don't want to do gratitude, but you just want to use what's here. So you could just go in, rename this, and this could be meditation. We can go into log gratitude and just adapt that to meditation. Done. Cool. So to create a new habit, you might want to follow the instructions that are here. And you can also learn what makes an effective habit here. But I would do this. First of all, create a new habit. Let's call this meditation. Set the year, set the start date. And I'm just going to do this for a month and see how I like it. So we're going to go to the 8th of November. And I want the frequency to be once every day. And we're good to go. It will say start any time. We're happy to do it. You can relate it to your goal. Great. You can see within here information on your habits. Now, once you've listed the new habit, you're going to want to go up here and duplicate one of these. So we're going to click in this, duplicate it. Then we're going to go in and edit it. And this is going to be log meditation. I haven't spelled that right, but there you go. Then you want to adjust the filter. That's, you don't want to adjust the filter, that's fine, in days. And then habit logs. And you might find, if you can just see add, you need to just make sure you can see this and you can pick, this can be a problem, pick the relation you want it to link to. So I can now pick meditation. That is now updated to show what we need. Click done. And then if you do want to move that back across, you can. But I would leave it nice and wide so you can see what you're doing. And there you go. If we click meditation, it will add meditation to today and meditation has now begun. And that is how we create new habits in the system. Pretty cool. That's habit tracking. What about your workouts? Well, why don't we now go to the workout tracker? You can go from here or go from the menu. Let's jump to that. Workouts is slightly different in the fact that you can create sessions. I think this is pretty self-explanatory. So if you want to log your workouts, you can start a new workout session. This is particularly good on mobile. I've optimized it for you to do that on the run or in the gym. It will add what you need. You can say, okay, I'm going to do this in the park. And from here, you can pick any of the items you want to do. But what we're going to do is first of all, begin the session and it will start a timer. You'll see workout in progress and the start time. And you can say, I'm going to go for a run outside. And we can then do the run whilst it happens, leave this open, say what we did. We did 5K, it took 30 minutes, it will give us our pace. Great. We can then go back and maybe you want to add something else. Let's do some weight training, let's do some tricep dips. We're going to do 10 reps, 5 sets. And let's say we added weight of 10 dropped in. Fantastic. So there's our workout in progress currently. And then once you've finished, I actually let's go to the one I made earlier. Here's one I made earlier. You can then click end time. This has been running for ages. 
and my workout lasted for 2,200 minutes. I'm just going to delete this because <laughs> it's not very helpful. Let's just go back and look at the one we were doing. Uh, there you go. Where workout is in progress, we're going to click into the workout. And when you finish, you click end timer and you will see that the time updates. You did a one minute workout and you could also see your record. So on our tricep dips, I've done seven sessions. In my example, my best was 20K. There you go. That is our system. And this will then also allow us to see the minutes we've spent on our workout sessions. You've got weight sessions you've done this year, how much you've worked on each one. You've got classes you've taken, if there's anything is in there. And you're also able, by the way, now in this view, if we open it up, to track your calories burned and your body weight if you wanted. So I could go 11 stone in there um, and I would see that listed within body weight. So you can kind of see your weight. This would build over the time and you can track those things. You can track how many calories you're burning each week if you want. It gives you an idea of like where you're at. So I think that's pretty damn cool. So that's workouts. I've also added a brand new thing from beta to the final version of this, which is a meal planner. And it links with the workout tracker. You can kind of jump between them. Um, but this is a really simple place to add meals. You can, you've got a, basically got an ingredients list of stuff. You have a recipe manager where you can add and create recipes and you've got a weekly meal plan where you can plan out what you want to do over your week. So the simple thing to do would be to go in, create, let's say, a new recipe, create a new recipe, label it all up, put everything in. You can add your ingredients by adding them in here as new or add a missing ingredient like this. but I probably would say the best thing in here, all recipes, let's go in, uh, would be to add ingredients here and you can use your existing list of everything that's in there, which is rather nice. And we might even just show um, category there. Look at that, that's nice. So you can drop those in, very nice. It kind of makes sense. Look, there's my American pancakes thing. You've got a link to the thing. I favorited it. You write your method in. So you can just kind of collect this off the internet. Really nice. So that is wor habit tracking, workout tracking, and meal planning in a nutshell. It's worth saying there is also a journal here, and this transitions us nicely into knowledge and ideas. Here you'll see the same today log, because it's a place where you can now journal. You can do this from here, and you can, of course, also do it from the habit tracker area just by clicking this button if you wanted to do that. I forgot to say on that side, you can set your any your productivity level as well, if you want to add those things in. Um, but if we now just go back to the journal, this is really nice to do on your phone and actually speak into your phone. You would click the journal button, pick one of my various templates. For example, a let's do understand your stress. And it will generate a whole template for you to write into. We go back out and then you will see your journal entries listed within the system. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's loads of ways you can look at it. You get the idea. I really like the AI summary tool that will, once you've written something in there, will really summarize it nicely as well. Okay, so we have covered our tracker world, the way of tracking and monitoring your life. It's time now to move on to the final section, I suppose, of the standalone life OS, which is all about knowledge, notes, and information. I'll see you on the next video. And don't forget, if you own the bundle, video four will cover content and clients and how all of this stuff can be fed into the management of bigger work projects. See you on the next video.